welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my record collection and talking about some of my favorite albums. They're all right here as you can see, but um, I just thought it would be fun to talk about and uh, people are probably looking for new music to listen to um, during this time, so I thought, why not? So without further ado, I'm just going to start talking about them where I get my records from. Um, I have a couple that are new that I got for like Christmas or my birthday or gifts from people. I I don't think I've ever bought a new record, but I have like a couple ones that you'll see are definitely like new-ish albums that were released on vinyl too. Most of my records I would say I get from Goodwill or Pawn Shop sometimes too. So that's where I get them from. Okay, so also this is my record player. It is a Crosley record player. Um, it is a new enough record player that it has an aux plug and a CD player, but it is like styled to look like it's older, which I like. After like months and maybe years of begging, my dad got me this one and it was a Christmas present, I think. And yeah, I've had it for probably about like seven years. I think I got it when I was in middle school. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna go through these in any particular order. These are just the order that I have them stacked. So my first one is my Bleachers Gone Now album. This album I got from my friend Beth who gave it to me for my birthday or for Christmas, I think. So thank you, Beth. If you haven't heard this album, um, Jack Antonoff is the lead singer creator of Bleachers. Um, he is a wonderful music producer. He produced Taylor Swift's Reputation and Lover albums, and also has he's produced uh, Melodrama by Lord and uh, several other really excellent albums. Um, he used to be a member of the band Fun, um, and he branched out and made Bleachers, which is his band, and they are amazing. I was supposed to go see them in New Jersey in June, and it just got rescheduled today until next May, and I don't think I'll be able to go to that, but it's fine. It's fine. Nothing I can do about it. But um, yeah, so this is a great album if you haven't heard it. It is one of my favorites. My favorite songs on it are Dream of Mickey Mantle and Don't Take the Money, probably. Oh, I also love I'm Ready to Move On slash Mickey Mantle. So definitely check this out. It's one of my favorite albums of all time. And their other album is great too. And they're supposed to come out with a new one soon. So Bleachers, please listen to them. They're wonderful. My next album is Peter, Paul and Mary um, Moving album. Um, I got this from Goodwill, I'm pretty sure. I like Peter, Paul and Mary. It's nice, pleasant 60s music. I think it's 60s. Yep, 1963. Um, but yeah, I got this for a dollar. It's vibey music. It's nice. It's pleasant for the morning. The next one is Carol King's Tapestry, which is iconic. An iconic album. Really, truly iconic. Um, yeah, there are tons of fantastic songs on this album, like I Feel the Earth Move, So Far Away, It's Too Late, um, You've Got a Friend, Where You Lead, yeah, like, Natural Woman. Yeah, this is her best album, in my opinion. It opens like this, and in that is a tapestry fitting, um, but, and there's like little images that look like they're in the tapestry. It's very cool. Yeah, I love this album. Carol King's incredible. What a fantastic songwriter. Okay, next is Taylor Swift 1989. This record got warped and I'm so upset about it. It's like very deep and slow now. Um, and I don't even know how because I tend to take pretty good care of my records. So I'm very bummed about it. But um, yeah, on the inside, she has like all the lyrics and little Polaroids. It's very cute. Obviously this one's new. I think I got it for Christmas. I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan and have been since I was like eight years old. I just felt like if I was going to get a Taylor Swift album on vinyl, 1989 is the one I have to get, right? Like that just makes sense with the whole Polaroid vibe and anyway, but yeah, my favorite songs on the 1989 album are I Know Places, Clean, and Out of the Woods, probably. Okay, my next one is 
Fallout Boy's Filet Adieu. Um, Filet Adieu. I'm literally studying French right now. Um, anyway, this this Fallout Boy album. Um, I am. I grew up. It, it was it was a little bit of a. I won't say I'm at like an emo. I was an emo kid, like kind of, but mostly just like pop punk music was like all I listened to until I was like between the ages of like 11 and like 16 I would say I pretty much exclusively listened to like Fall Out Boy, Green Day, My Chemical Romance, a little bit of Panic, oh and Simple Plan I was a big fan of Simple Plan. Anyway, um, so, but Fall Out Boy was my favorite band for a while. This isn't even my favorite album. My favorite album is from Under the Court Tree, but this one has, my favorite songs on it are, is this intentionally printed backwards? Anyway, my favorite songs on this album are Coffees for Closers is a good one. And, oh, What, what a Catch Donnie is my favorite song on this album. One of my favorite Fall Out Boy songs ever. I won't say like, you have to listen to Fall Out Boy. <laughs> but if you do, those are my favorites. Um, but this record is really cool. Um, first of all, it came with a poster, very large poster of the... And then on the back, it's all of the... Members. My boy Patrick, my boy Pete, my boy is it? Man, I used to know all their names. Andy and I knew Andy. Oh, Joe. Joe is who I forgot. Um, and then the records themselves are really cool because they are this. I'm not gonna pull them all the way out, but they're this kind of like see-through yellow, which is super neat and like red really really cool love it so that's my follow-up boy record okay next i have air supply which i don't i'm not sure i know any songs on this album but i think i saw it at goodwill and i if i see a band that i recognize their name or think that i like the genre of music i'll tend to buy the record because they're like a dollar or two dollars um so i usually just buy it just to see and discover new music Okay, this is a, it's a Christmas album. Christmas in Carols. Merry Christmas in Carols. Um, I don't know, sometimes I just, I just be buying Christmas songs. I don't know, I think it's organ music. I've never listened to it. I just buy Christmas albums around Christmas because I get really shoppy and if I see something, I'm like, yes, I have to have it. But the cover is very pretty. Yeah. Okay, next I have the Annie soundtrack. Uh, from the original Annie movie. I think I saw this at Goodwill too, and it was my favorite movie as a kid. I think it's really scratched, um, so I don't think it even works really. And it's obviously not been handled well because it's got like drawings all over it from like a child with markers and pens. But I had to buy it because it was my favorite. It was one of my favorite movies as a kid, and I just wanted to own it, you know? And I think it was, I think I got this one from Goodwill. So when you see it, you just, sometimes you gotta. Oh, this is one of my prized possessions. Um, this is my Frank Sinatra, like ultimate Christmas album. Yeah. Uh, this is my favorite Christmas album of all time. And my parents got me this for Christmas a few years ago. And it is my favorite thing in the world. I love it so much. That's the picture inside. And on this, there's, I mean, there's two rec two discs, and so it's got four sides to it. So it's White Christmas, Jingle Bells, The First Noel, I'll Be Home for Christmas. If you ever want to see me cry, just play that song. Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Oh my God, this is making me want Christmas, and it's May. It's fine. 
Silent Night. Yeah, anyway, this is my favorite Christmas album ever and I was so excited when I got it on vinyl because I just like, usually when we're decorating or putting a tree up or whatever, I will just bring my record player out into the living room and just play that record while we decorate and it just feels so cozy. Oh, I love it and I love the sound of vinyl. Um, I'm a, I was a, I'm a theater kid. I am, I am a theater kid. I did theater all throughout high school and if I had stayed in college the first time I went, I would have been a theater and communications double major, but I dropped out so here we are and I haven't done theater in a little while. I do miss it. I love musicals so I also have a tendency to buy soundtracks for musicals when I see them. This is Funny Girl. Um, which I've never seen, but I know a lot of the music from because it's iconic. Um, that's the back. It's kind of falling apart. I got this from Goodwill for sure. Even if you haven't seen it, you've probably heard um, Don't Rain On My Parade. Oh, People. Yeah, People and Don't Rain On My Parade are like two of the big songs from here. This is Barbara Streisand mus Barbara Streisand's musical. Well, it's not her musical, but she is famous for this musical. Um, along the same lines, I have Guys and Dolls, which I've seen once, and it's not my favorite, but I saw this at Goodwill and I bought it anyway. Love Be a Lady is a song from here. Sit Down, You're Rocking the Boat is from here. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Okay, I have another Carol King album. I'm serious, like, I grew up listening to Carol King so much. My Both of my parents loved her, but I just think this is so cool. It's, um... It's not like a plasticky texture, it's um, like canvassy kind of. Yeah, I mean, most of her big songs are from the Tapestry album, but you can't pass up a Carole King album. I think I got this one. I was going through a box of records at a pawn shop and this guy that worked there was like, if you find anything good, I'll give you a discount. And I was like, okay. And I think he was kind of disappointed when I brought a Carole King album up, um, but there was nothing like, that a straight white man would deem good in there. So this was the best album. And also Carol King is good. She's a killer songwriter. So to say otherwise is ridiculous, but that's fine. Next I have Beethoven's Greatest Hits. Sometimes you just gotta put on some classical music, which is something I've done like maybe a couple times in my life. But I do enjoy putting on classical music for like studying or in general, I don't know, I think it's supposed to be very calming and people who are better musicians than me will of course appreciate it more. Um, but it has for Elise and I don't know, it has all of its big, his big ones. I also have Mozart's Greatest Hits, which I'm sure I would recognize if I heard, but I don't recognize them by name. Yeah, both of those I got from Goodwill. Okay, and then I have The Best of Peter, Paul, and Mary. So this one has songs like Leaving on a Jet Plane, and Puff the Magic Dragon, and If I Had a Hammer. Lots of those like classic folky songs. Um, very 60s, very flower childish. Um, that's the inside. But yeah, 10 years together, that's what this album is. Okay, next I have The Best of the Beach Boys, which I love this album, because um, I love the Beach Boys. So it has Surf in USA, Surfer Girl, fun, fun, fun. Yes, I love the Beach Boys. It's such fun music to listen to. It's music I remember a lot from my childhood. Um, and I just was very excited when I found one of their albums on vinyl at a thrift store. That was a very exciting moment for me. All right, last two are my Beatles albums. This one is really cool. It's a so I bought this, there's this place in my town that's like a thrift store and a bar and a concert venue and a wedding chapel and maybe that's it. But someone, I was there to see like a little tiny, a little concert and someone else I was selling uh, clothes and jewelry and they also had some records. So I saw this, which is Beatles from 1967 to 1970. And she sold it for pretty cheap. I think she gave it to me for $10. And I think if I tried to buy this from a record store, it would be like 30 something because it's in really great condition. So it has, let's see, it's 
Strawberry Fields Forever, which is one of my favorites, um, with a little help from my friends, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, All You Need Is Love, Hello Goodbye, I'm the Walrus, Hey Jude, which is everyone's favorite, um, While My Guitar gen Gently Weeps, Here Comes the Sun, uh, Come Together, Something, Octopus's Garden, Let It Be, Across the Universe, yeah, great album. So I was so excited when I found that. Really great moment. I really, really want Abbey Road because that's probably my favorite album. My two favorite albums are Abbey Road and The White Album, I think, and I don't have either one of those, so I would like to get them at some point. And then this is the Let It Be album, which is the last one I have. I paid $5 for this at Goodwill or Thrift Store. Here's the inside. Yeah, so the Let It Be album has um, two of us. I Dig a Pony, Across the Universe, I Me, Mine, Dig It, Let It Be, Maggie Mae, I've Got a Feeling, One After 909, and The Long and Winding Road, For You Blue, and Get Back. So those are my records. Um, I really hope to get more, but I just wanted to show off the ones that I have because I don't, it's not even that I listen to them all that much. Um, but I just love having them. It's just, I like seeing a physical manifestation of the music that I love. I know it seems kind of pretentious to collect them, but it's just, I don't know, like I said, it just like feels like a nice manifestation of your music that you can see and like the fact that like some of them have like pictures and stuff like that. It's just, I don't know, it's nice to have. I think it's very fun and I've said before, I am hipster trash. I also own a typewriter, so these are the things that I've had to accept about myself. Um, but I just think they're cool. I think it's fun to have. I would love to hear which one of these is your favorite, and also, like, if you have any of your own vinyl records or your own collection, what, um, yeah, what your favorite is. Thanks for watching, and I hope everyone is safe and well and finding ways to entertain yourself at home. Bye!